Hello creative minds, this is Aisha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working with tempera paints to do a huge pour for my dining room. Normally I use acrylic, so let's see how it turns out. To start off, the paint was already pretty thin, so I only used a tiny bit of Flood Floetrol and a very, very tiny amount of water to thin it down a little bit more and make it flow a little better. So why am I using tempera paint versus acrylic paint? This was actually a bit of an experiment for me. I was at Hobby Lobby and I saw that they had tons of bottles of tempera paint on clearance for about 50 cents to a buck a bottle. So I went ahead and grabbed up a lot of the colors they had and immediately set out to try my hand out at a pour. And you're also probably wondering, why did I experiment on such a huge canvas? Well, it was actually a bit of a risk, but to be quite honest, I was really pleased with the results in the end. After preparing several colors in the same way as the silver, I started adding them in a larger container mixed with white paint. There's no particular order or pattern that I'm following, I'm just pouring in the paint and I think I did a, that swirling motion because the container was just so large and I was trying to get better coverage of the paint going in. It was starting to look like a muddy mess at this point so I was a little bit nervous, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out but I just went along with it anyways. I am covering my white canvas in white paint because I figured I might have some negative space, it might not cover the entire canvas with color, so, and I never like leaving a blank um, canvas, I, I always like to have paint on the canvas. The container was quite heavy, so as I was trying to flip it over, a bunch of paint poured out, but that's okay because this is essentially a paint pour, so. If it gets a little messy, no problem, you can always make it work. Like most paint pours that I do, I don't really have a set plan in motion, I just kind of go along with it. So here I'm just kind of swirling it around a little bit, trying to make the paint go in a certain direction. The real fun part is moving the canvas around because that is when you really start seeing all the individual colors and some of the cells start popping out and you can really see the metallic. I'm not sure if you can really see it in the camera, but in person it was really starting to look quite beautiful. I started blowing at the paint with a straw in some of the places where I wanted a little bit more paint action, if that makes any sense. Since I was in the experimenting mood, I tried out some glitter embellishments as well. I'd have to wait several days later after the painting has dried to really see how the embellishments look. It took several days for the painting to dry, but I was really pleased with the results in the end. I was pleasantly surprised with how well the tempera paints looked after it dried. The metallic colors were quite vibrant and the glitter embellishment turned out really well. There was a little bit of cracking in the white paint but it didn't bother me too much. I felt like it added a little bit more character and I felt it went really well with my farmhouse theme. Arabic calligraphy was my choice of embellishment for this painting and my medium was silver leaf metal. I have been in the process of redoing my dining room for quite some time. My walls were very empty, so I really wanted to do a huge painting. I went with mostly metallic colors like gold and bronze and silver because that's my color scheme in my dining room. And the theme is elegant farmhouse. Can farmhouse be elegant? Yes, I think it can.
I love how this painting turned out in the end. It added such elegance to my dining room. If you guys enjoyed this project as much as I did, please subscribe to my channel and join me on my other projects. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!